Welcome back folks, if you're new to the channel, I'm Richie. Today I'm in Heathrow Airport, uh, flying to the States, to America. I'm gonna have uh, a good flight. Next obstacle is US Customs. See you there. Well that was easy. No questions at all in Customs. Straight through, the first time in 10 years. So, it's weird. More COVID restrictions to get on the plane, but once you get in, you're in. All right, made it safe and sound in New Jersey. Just got picked up by my best buddy, Ben, and we're here by the unit, what we've got to do the road trip. The old Airstream. Yeah, baby. Bambi. Woo! Well, and this is Ben. Oh, and that's Bambi. Yeah. No, I'm Bambi. That's Bambi. <laughs> Are we going to turn off the car? Um. <laughs> Your mum's Porsche just gets stolen. <laughs> oh. All right, so this is the setup. Hey, Coop. Hey, Coop. How are you, buddy? This is my new best friend. My new best friend that stuck his tongue in my ear when I hopped in the car. Oh, we've got TV, cabinets, fridge, stove, microwave. Oh. Hello. So apparently I have a little present here. Oh, yay, paper. I always yeah, wanted paper. <laughs> I can't even imagine what the gift's going to make you do. <laughs> Turn the fan on. Where? Oh. Open it. How do you open it? This thing? Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> what does that smell? Uh, Alright. What will you create? Wicked ass motherfucking content. Oh, yeah, baby. What are they called again? <laughs> Croakies. Croakies! <laughs> that's what they are. Yep. God, I just forget. We don't wear sunglasses in Florida, in uh, London. Oh, We're going man. to Florida. I definitely need these on me, sunnies. So oh my god, so a little custom notebook. Custom croakies. Look at this crazy weapon. And I did this once with my last knock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pulled it out. That's a bushcraft knife. <laughs> Solid fixed blade, nice and thick. That's got to be like five. That's probably six mil thick. It is thick. Thicker the better. You can bash it to split wood. Yeah, dude. You can that thing up. And away we go. Nine Boom. Hours, Fifteen minutes. <laughs> and one thousand two hundred and eighty miles. Morning, all. Yeah, a good little first night. Just pulled over at a truck stop. I'll show you once we get out. Um, this bed folded down. Benny in his bed up there. We've just had a bit of breakfast, more like brunch. We've just chilled out and talked all day. Um, but we're going to get on the road now. Keep heading south. We're just south of Wilmington, Delaware. Just here. So we're going to um, get going. Right, second leg. We added time because we're not going to Miami now. We're going to Key Largo where we're actually staying. What do we got? 1848. Yeah. I don't even know what we're passing. Something river. Susquehanna River. Susquehanna River. Susquehanna. I can do some fishing down there. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Baltimore in the distance. Making our way down. Oh. The sun is finally out. Quick little stop off, and back on the road. So, it's a real drive, it's time to get behind the wheel. Let's go. Yeah. Well, my stint is over, just past 12. We've stopped just outside uh, Fayetteville in North Carolina and uh, we've got about seven and a half hours drive down to Orlando tomorrow and we're going to see Benny's buddy. Uh, so we're just at a bit of a 
and not a truck stop this time it's just a rest area um, on the side of the highway and we'll get back in the car early and uh, get going and stop off for some fuel and breakfast somewhere then but I'm gonna set my bed up and have a rest peace good morning folks oh, bit of a miserable day overcast again look at it up there but like yesterday morning it was overcast I'm hoping that it uh, clears up especially when we get down towards Florida Uh, oh, excuse me. A little squirrel? Oh, another one up here. What's he got a banana skin from someone? Where is he? Oh, there. Oh, I made him drop his banana. Come on, go get it, buddy. Come on, go get it. We love the clip ons. Soul's connection Ain't looking for perfection I've been good I've been bad been happy I've been sad Sitting on this big old Who needs Subway when you're on the road when you've got a personal chef? Just come back into the airstream and whip up a little dish. Boom, boom. Awesome. Dishy, dishy. Oh, there we are. Yeah, baby. Florida welcomes you. <laughs> Hell yeah. What about a Florida Georgia line, baby? Feels good to be home. Typical Florida weather. Severe thunderstorms through 10 p.m. So, third stop, Orlando. Uh, come to see Benny's friend, Dax. So we're going to go out and grab a drink, um, have a bite to eat, and then back in the car tomorrow and to head down to Miami. We had a shitty experience earlier uh, with this thing down here, which is Yeshua's sewage holding tank. So the last person didn't uh, leave it in good order, and when I opened it, Poopies came coming out all at me, so that was a bit of a shit experience. Oh, well, that was delicious. That was a good. Tap us some wine. Well, good morning, folks. It stopped raining for us to get on the road. We're gonna get on out of here, do a little fun reverse, and get on the road and head down to Lauderdale, pick up his stuff, and. He wants to play. Yeah, I get that, man. He wants to just run and play and be a puppy dog. Oh, cool. Hey, buddy. You friendly? Yeah. Yeah, so is he. Oh, this is a Florida I love. Bit of sun. Hey, no, come on. Stop eating that. Come on. You don't need poopies? You done your wee wees? We're about an hour and a half from Lauderdale. Our, uh, well, not our final destination for the day. We're going to stop off to see a friend and pick up his food. You ready? Ready, bud? All right. Ready, Give me a hug. Florida sun pouring down rain this morning. Now we're good. We have officially made it to Key Lago. Yeah, baby. But we are here at our first permanent stop. Not a bad one. Key Lago. It's the first island of the Florida Keys. The wedding's just in like South Miami, so it's about a half an hour drive, 45 minutes. We're gonna head up tonight to do some sort of welcome drinks. But I thought I'd check in, show you the first spot and our little camp spot behind us. And look at this guy. Look at him. How you doing, my boy? How you doing? <laughs> he doesn't quite want to get in the trailer. 
because uh, it's been moving for three days. You know, he travels in the car with us, of course, as you've seen, but I think moving vehicles isn't his thing for too long because he's definitely wanting to stay out here. But we got the aircon running, we're cooking dinner. Chef Arresti getting it done. Well, Dish Pig Arresti getting it done as well. <laughs> doing my job while I'm not doing it. Well, you just saw us at the welcome drinks for the wedding tomorrow. We're back home now at the uh, permanent camp. It's good here, we can turn the aircon on. And look at that window. Look at all the condensation just dripping off this Coke can, as we just called it. We'll see you in the morning. Peace out. Right, well Ben's having a bit of a day doing some uh, doing his own thing but I needed a shirt for this wedding and a tie so I'm gonna head out <clears throat> uh, what a cracking day but uh, coming from London whew, it's hot let's get on the road dead stops traffic yeah this is Florida 11 look at that oh. Low water line hanging out. Look at these guys. Look at this. some of them have even setups. Uh, picnic uh, umbrella sitting on the uh, the low sandbanks. Look, at those have picnic chairs too. That's awesome. There's like a little floating dog bed or something there. Oh, that is Florida Eleven. I'm in Publix uh, supermarket, and if you know, you know, I'm getting one made up. Oh yeah. Wedding crashes! Woo! This concludes all the members of the bridal party. This time, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, make some noise for the newlyweds. Oh, so these amateurs ordered too much booze or they didn't drink enough. I don't know. I'm still drinking, so I'm good. Oh, warm beer is good. But they ordered too much, so there it is. We're going to have to take it in Benny's truck. Little sober Benny. Such a good blood, such a good man. Helping everyone out, making sure that everyone is having a good time and is sorted. He's the most biggest legend I've ever met in my life. So we're home from the wedding. Gonna take Coopy Coop for a little walk. And I didn't realize we had a beach. So we're gonna head out to the beach, have a little walkie walk, and then go to bed. Day five down the hatch. We've got another week with Ben and Coop. And then I'm off to see my sister. So, still so much more of this adventure to go. But we'll see you tomorrow. Peace and love. Good morning. We have made it to Fort Lauderdale, a place called Yacht Haven, which is, uh, funnily enough, my old home. I used to live here, God, 11 years ago. Lived here for four months in a trailer with a friend of mine. But we're back, but they have renovated this place. New owners renovated it. But we got the waterfront with a yacht right behind us. That's pretty nice, but we can fish off these docks so I'm going to go out and get a fishing rod today and try and get into it. 
but this is the setup. Bit more setup this time, so we set the awning out. We're here for three nights. So yeah. Say hi, Coop. Coop. Cooper. No, nope, doesn't want to listen to me. All right. We'll go for a little bit of a stroll, see what's about. All right, Coop. We're ready for an explore. Let's go. You lead the way. Where are we going? I'm going to go explore this park before potentially maybe some afternoon rain. Come this way, bud. Maybe we should go this way. You lead the way, but maybe we should. I was about to ask someone where things are, but look. You can see the top of the fishing rods right there. We found the fishing section. Oh my God. Oh, there's a whole other aisle around here. Oh, what's this? The saltwater inshore combo. Damn, $25. That's pretty sick. Jig rigs, floats, eye baits, all the tackle boxes. Walmart's got a bit of a selection here. The electric fishermen, clubs, rod holders. Damn, dude. There's a lot. Oh, and we've even got bait. But I don't think I'm going to get bait to stink out the cabin. Oh, why did they have to have so much of a selection? This is too hard. All right, I'm going to have to uh, do some figuring out what's decent here. Now that I got this, I've got to find me some baits. I've got to do it. It's a voodoo shrimp. Fishaholic fishing. Rich. Thanks, brother. I want something with some colour. Let's go this. Oh, the Bitsy Minnow. Let's go the yellow jig heads. They are big. Okay, little ones. The gulp in juices. Let's go it. Watermelon pearl minnows. Still going to Bass Pro Shop, even though it was closed. We're gonna to go tomorrow or another day. We'll go at some point one of these days. No? Yeah, he's a, he's onto it. He's a, like a little protector. He likes patrolling the area. So, our good buddy Ian, who just got married to the wonderful and beautiful Erica. He uh, gifted us a couple of Cohibas, real Habana Cuba cigars. So we're going to sit down, got the little Uko lamp going there. Going to sit outside and enjoy this beautiful weather because it's quite mild tonight. And smoke these cigars, celebrate Ian and Erica. And tomorrow the fishing starts. You're not going to come, buddy? And go for a fish. Okay. Ooh, not very sunny, but let's get the lines in the water, see what we can get. Alright buddy. All set up. All right, let's try down here. About 20, 25 casts up there. Maybe in between these two boats. All right, another bloody 20 or so casts there. In the corner along this side but we'll go out to this point and we'll see what this is like out here nice right on the wall come on not a single bite I'm going to just shark on the little tsunami. Ah. There's 
temperature's dropping because she's now overcast. Ben's just come back from Miami and it's raining down there, so we're going to get some rain. Alright, well, no fish today. A few bites on the uh, voodoo shrimp, but uh, I think the fish here are a bit too small for it. I tried uh, a few other lures, smaller lures, but no go. So we'll uh, heading off to dinner tonight to my Uncle Keith's. Um, and then uh, I guess get up early in the morning, try and have another crack at it. Um, early morning was the sun's coming up. But uh, damn, unfortunate. I don't know, I may have to try some other areas. Back in the car, we're doing a, what we're calling a memory mile drive. Going around to all the places in Fort Lauderdale where me and Ben used to either hang out or do, or hey, Bill Bill. How are you doing? Um, he's just in the sunglasses shop where we used to go if he had broken sunglasses because he has a scratch on. And then we're going to go down to the beach and have a little swim. Hey, boo boo. Um, so we're just driving around, as I mentioned, having a look at cool places. This is my old house. This is where I used to live. It's called Cedar House. I was in 401 for most of my time. I had both of them. It was six people per flat. And I was in 401 most of the time. I did go back to my sister's house in Chicago for a little bit and come back and I was in 403. Yeah. This is it. A little neighborhood, a little cul-de-sac. The main street is just up there called US1. Bro, well, I just want to come past. Just want to come past you. Hey. Hey. There you go. All right, come back to this boat where I was uh, getting those few bites this morning. Well, aren't you curious? Little curious George. They're just some duckies. And they're really nice. So you'll be friendly with them. I know you probably want to eat them. So this is the street we live on. How do you say this? Slocum? Slocum? What is it? You tell me. What a town. I'm going to buy a house in Yeehaw! Junction. Oh, it's telling me to take it. Alright, we're getting oh, off at Yeehaw Junction. Yeehaw <laughs> Junction. It's like when you're on the airplane in another country and they're like. We had the rain on the way into Florida and we got the rain on the way out. Towards that Florida Georgia line. Big truck. Didn't daddy just tell you to go into the back? Didn't daddy just move you? Hey? You don't like the back, do you, buddy? You giving me that whole like sad puppy face with the more ears pinned back. You're gonna get told to go into the back again, brother. Nah, but then I was like, oh well, let's see if there's like a gate at the back of these fences. And there's a hole. I'm like, oh, great, there's a hole there. I go, I'm too fat to fit through this hole. Oh, shit. I actually went to come back through. My pants got caught on a nail. There's like wood, like rocks, like an awesome green hole. All of my pants and stuff. And I'm like, oh, literally two meters to the right, there's a massive hole. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I'm like, which way am I? You can't see it, it's in the back. I'm like, which way am I stuck on this nail? If I pull the wrong way, it's going to start ripping. If I'm like, I'm like, got myself unhooked and I'm like, oh, phew. Uh, oh, so, it's not a, not a very great day here in Greensboro, North Carolina. But as you can see, we're back on the road. We stopped at a little truck stop last night. It was raining. We just jumped straight in the trailer, had some dinner, went to bed. 
but today we've uh, just gotten to Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're here with Ben's brother, Adam. Um, he's going to take us to a show tonight to see his partner in the show Hamilton. And then, yeah, we're just going to go get pizza now. But this weather is horrible. It's uh, apparently been awesome weather for the last few days, and now it's horrible. So the horrible weather has followed us. After here, we're off to a little town called Bremo Bluff. Then off to Richmond, Virginia for my flight to Chicago to see my sister. But I'll keep you posted with the adventures along the way. So Greensboro, North Carolina, it has Wrangler and Lee Jeans. But we're now at the theatre, here to see Hamilton. Let's go! Good morning, happy people. We are leaving. <laughs> we are leaving Greensboro. Uh, so last night we had the privilege of going to an amazing show, seeing Ben's brother's partner, uh, Wes, in the Hamilton show. That was absolutely incredible. Uh, we just got some dinner as well, but this morning. Uh, ben woke up nice and early to a police officer, <laughs> a police officer uh, parked in front of our camper because we were just in the car park of the apartment building. Um, 45 minutes later, a second police officer turned up. So he had a little, you know, hissy fit and uh, we decided to leave. It was a big no. one. <laughs> it was a big one. No, so we decided to go get a coffee and start our day, and we decided we are going to head straight off to Bremo Bluff uh, to Virginia. Virginia, Bremo Bluff, Virginia. It's a bit of a beautiful day. There's still clouds out, but the sun's poking out. So we'll catch up when we get there. Welcome to Virginia. You go through a little bit of hurt on this next exit. Timber mill, 18, 49. So we're just at Ben's friend's um, farm plantation. So we'll get on in there. See what this is all about. You reckon? Yeah, it's getting not straight. Oh my god, look at that house. So, what a beautiful place. The owner here of this beautiful plantation, built 1820, has requested that we not share or post any photos or videos. Um, and I want to respect that, so unfortunately, we won't be able to do much of uh, filming and content here. I still will for my personal use, but unfortunately you guys won't get to see it. So um, you may have just caught a little glimpse there, um, but I will respect the wishes and not show most of the property. Check out this behemoth. Wow, so this house, I'm really struggling to to get around the fact that I can't share any of this, but I really want to respect the owner's wishes in uh, not having any of this footage shared. I've taken so many photos and videos of this house, this plantation. It's incredible. I'm, I'm, Started building in uh, 18. Stop it! 
in 1810, finished in 1820, be built completely by the slaves. All the stones, all the um, uh, all the timber, all the bricks, all the metal, all forged and made in the foraging hut. Um, but it's incredible. Um, one of the rooms where Ben's off showering right now, the bathroom wasn't in there. They've done some remodeling and the bathroom is an addition. But that room was called uh, Miss Lee's room because General Lee's wife stayed here and in that room and the bed is still there during the war, during the Civil War. Um, this general was pardoned and his two sons fought in the war. The general that built this house slaves built it um i'm just in awe i'm speechless it is it may not look like i'm speechless because i'll cut all of that out but i just there is so much here to this property the history the past it is unfortunate that i can't share this because the owners are doing some beautiful things uh, have a beautiful attitude towards the property and its past. Um, but they have had lots of people try and come onto this land um, from anything from nighttime hunters and things to just people strolling up the drive to anything. Um, it's so I really will respect their wishes, but oh, far out. Um, it needs to be shared. Um, and it will be. Their plans for this property and their plans do include some amazing things. But that's for them to share and for them to build on and for them to do. Anyway, I'm going to shower now that I can. Um, go. It's really visit nice, dude. Them. The water pressure is like fucking. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we're not hitting our heads on the ceiling. Um, you might hit Peace. your head on the ceiling. Uh, excuse me. Over the bridge we go. Spring well. Get some water. I need it. I can feel it. Goochland Day Parade and Festival. And back in an airport with this last stop. I'm about to board my flight to Chicago O'Hare. Well, I haven't checked in much because I'm trying to enjoy the family time. Time with my sister, time with the nephews, time with my brother-in-law. But I'm on babysitter duties tonight, so we've uh, done some hot dogs and things, and uh, they're all down. So one's happy down here, eating. The other one's happy over there, glued to that thing. And the other one's happy in his swing. Oh, do you want me to start the train for you? You gonna dance in front of the green light? <laughs> so we're gonna do a video together? Wait, wait, down? This is a video right now. This will be in a video. Wait, no. Right now. No, no. Yes. I don't wanna be in a video doing dancing. The big reveal. Come on, the big reveal. Look at this. Look at that. Oh man, it looks like a piece of jewelry. I don't have to drive it. <laughs> what is this? The Widowmaker. Uh, Same guy. <laughs> So the boys have had a, the Easter Bunny come and hide eggs all through the front yard. Another purple egg! There's a purple one, dude. It's 
looks really full. Is it? Yeah, it is. So I didn't get to take my little nephew Archer on a cooking adventure. We just ran out of time. We were actually building a Lego egg drop uh, device for his Lego egg drop challenge. But we're still here at Walmart. He wants to pick up some camping and adventure supplies. So uh, his birthday's coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to buy him some uh, something. We don't know yet. We're going to go for a walk through. Dinosaur camp chair. And then I'm gonna keep searching, dude. I'm gonna keep looking. So my little nephew, he wanted this. The camping tool set. So instead, I just got him a few little things. We got uh, some paracord, commando saw, some carabiner clips compass and a whistle uh, what else did we get we'll have to see at the checkout that was the last thing a commando a collapsible water bottle uh, love you bye It's been a long trip. It's been an awesome trip. Um, if, I know this video was a little bit different, just a bit of a montage of my trip. There wasn't much filming. I tried to do some filming. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.